What's up YouTube? This is Lightning with Lightning Game Reviews and today I'm bringing to you a video for Fallout 4. Now if you're like me, you've done a legitimate playthrough and now it's time for your cheater playthrough. You see myself with that badass 10mm pistol with the awesome scope and right here you'll see me zoom out and show you my awesome X01 power armor. Now if you're anything like me, when you set up a new colony and you're cheating, you sit there and you go spawn this item, spawn this item, player dot add item, player dot add item, player dot add item over and over and over again. Now there is a shortcut and there is hope for all of you cheaters out there who don't know how to do this. I'm about to teach you. What you can do is put all of those player dot add item commands into a text file, put it in the primary folder for Fallout 4's installation and make a batch file so it spawns it all at once. And to show you, I'm gonna open up my inventory. Now quickly, I'm gonna show you here that you know I have nothing in my inventory. Now I've named my batch file Defense. And what you wanna do is you simply wanna open your console, then type out BAT, and in quotation marks, the name of your file .txt. Now it will not work without the quotation marks period. You know, I'm going to go ahead and delete them here, show you. You know, it's just, you know, you hit, give you a syntax error. So you want to put quotations around the, your file name right here, as you see. Defense.txt. And look, all that shit just now spawned in my inventory. Hey, look, my carry weight is 3,000 something pounds. And you want to do this close to a workshop so you can simply just store it all immediately. Uh, like I did there. Now, I can spawn whatever I want. <laughs> With this file I've created, which I will link in the description, um, actually what I'll do is I'll link a paste bin so you can create your own file so that you know I'm not trying to give you a virus or anything. Although I do think I'm catching a cold right now. Um, so I'm just going to start spawning. You know, you need some good defense, so I think I need a good, nice perimeter for heavy turrets. <laughs> now once again, you want to store this file in the primary folder for Fallout 4. For me, it's E colon slash Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout 4. You know, if, you've, if you got it through Steam, you know where it's at. Now, um, one thing you got to remember is if you want to add files, if you want to add items to this file, simply open it up at the bottom, type in player.add, um, uh, the item ID space the number and you know anytime you set up a new colony and you wanna you know get all the items you need for the defense all you gotta do is just spawn you know run this batch file and you'll spawn just literally everything you need will this go up here maybe on the other house <laughs> it will okay nice so basically what you wanna do that's actually kinda funny so basically, you know, this is the easiest way to, you know, just spawn everything you need at once. And with that, this is Lightning with Lightning Game Reviews saying stay classy, Internet.